Here we're going to talk about the bulk density test and you can see that we're scraping away some of the residue on the surface before we set our cylinder on top of the soil surface. This is a three inch diameter ring and we want to pound this into the soil to a three inch depth. We have our cookie cutter top once again and our two pound weight to pound that into the soil to collect our bulk density sample. Now that we have our cylinder to a three inch depth, we have a small hand trowel in the soil health bucket that we will use to remove the cylinder from the soil. It takes a little while to dig the soil clear around the cylinder because we want to get it perfectly out of the ground. But with a three inch cylinder, now we have a known volume of soil that we can use for our calculation. Notice we're gently removing the cylinder from the soil surface. I take one hand and cover the one end so we don't lose any of the topsoil that may crumble out. There's a butter knife in our soil health bucket we use to trim off the bottom edge of this three inch cylinder so we can get our perfectly known volume. Take a plastic bag, open that plastic bag and dump the cylinder into our Ziploc bag here. It, was, it, it doesn't come out great. You can't get it out if the soil moisture conditions aren't perfect. Use that butter knife and try to poke the soil through the cylinder into the sample bag. Clean the cylinder up the best you can. Get that perfect volume. Seal it up. Write your field and landowner's name on the bag. Take it back to the office for the analysis. If you have any questions, you can refer back to the bulk density chart.